You um, obviously went to jail for perjury. Um, do you believe in uh, that this young man should be expelled from the party whilst they investigate? Should he say sorry? Is there a second chance for someone like this or is this curtains for his career? I think the story is getting in danger of being overblown with lack of facts and rumours. Uh, first of all, in the aftermath of a Jimmy Savile or a Harvey Weinstein uh, scandal, suddenly there erupt a whole lot of other wild allegations, some of which, as we know, in cases like Field Marshal Bramall and Ted Heath, turn out to be completely wrong. So we should be cautious. And cautious because, with all respects to the Labour Party's suspension procedures, that <clears throat> doesn't seem to begin with a presumption of innocence. Certainly doesn't go through due processes of law. Mm. So I <clears throat> just think we should be inclined to give people the benefit of the doubt at the start of uh, an inquiry like this. And as so interesting, you don't think he should have the whip removed then at this well, point? Well, not yet. Uh, I'd, right. I'd like to see something far more uh, damning and proved. Um, I think the story breaks down to two parts. The very inappropriate and wrong remarks he made the best part of 15 years ago, mm. as I understand it, he came up front, mm. apologised, his apology was well listened to. You were at the PLP, were you, John? When no, I wasn't. You no. weren't, no. But surely the, the point here is not so much a kind of a, there's any criminal case against him, because there isn't. It's about character, isn't it? And it's about what you reveal about your character and the way you behave and what you say. And if the allegations from this young lady that we interviewed about an hour ago here are true, and you're quite right, she, she did, all I'll say is this, she came across as highly plausible. And she was making these allegations months ago, long before he made headlines. So she's not jumped on the bandwagon. She's been saying this in radio interviews and on Twitter for a very long time now. If they're true, true, it shows that what he said yesterday is part of his apology, which was that he changed, he'd been on a journey, he was no longer that ghastly young man, isn't true. He's still capable of saying revolting things to you know, harmless young girls. Uh, uh, first of all, I think he completely denies the allegation. Yes. And he's entitled to that presumption of, he is, of yes. innocent. It seems to have been hot words in a bar late at night. I Deeply wonder... offensive to her. Uh, yes, if they were Misogynistic. true. If they were true, they were obviously mm. clearly offensive. But I wonder if a court of law taking mm. that kind of barroom banter evidence would say uh, this person should be convicted.